Hawk. This is game number 12 of 16 today of the Asia Rugby 7 Series in the blue and white Japan and the white and red Hong Kong Chiharu Nakamura Okaruda Tsumi, Nagata, Harano, Tanaka. They've taken a very, very, very big team out of the hood, out of the garage for this one. Olsen Thorne, Kong So Yan, Melody Lee, Poon Hoi Yan, Colleen Tushvon, and Hong Kong have started with an equally strong selection. Liang Lao Wei of Singapore steps into the fray as the referee. And this will be an intriguing battle. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here to Namdong ASEAN Stadium in Incheon, Korea. If you're joining us for the first time, it's Hong Kong to kick off, Japan to receive. And it will be an intriguing, that kick wasn't going to go 10, but Japan have played on and straight through the middle they've gone. And Japan have broken Hong Kong open in the first touch. As... Aroha Nagata scores five for Japan and isn't too keen on taking the conversion. Well, what about that one? Didn't go the 10, perhaps Hong Kong switched off, but the awareness of the Japanese team to play on. And here she comes, Nagata trundles in untouched unworried Japan 7 Hong Kong nil, and Japan restart away towards the far side stand straight away they begin hassling of the Hong Kong ball carrier Lee brought down earlier now Chan first fault finds Aggie Poon Poon tries on Tsutsumi without any success they managed to bundle the bigot strong Aggie Poon Aggie Poon into touch but Singaporean referee Wei has Put them back for the penalty, possibly a high shot. I think he was signaling. Let's go, let's go. Tap and go from Kwong. Tushford can't get the ball to Kwong, who has to double back and takes Sami at the same time. Poon fast on her feet, Kwong away. So Yang Kwong, her run ends there. Now Lee takes it forward through the A channel. Kwong spins it. Olsen Thorne tries to get on the outside and outflank them. Aggie Poon over the ball. Kwong again. Strong run by Chan. Hong Kong playing plenty of continuity at the moment. Kwong, Poon, Aggie Poon. Has Aggie Poon got the speed? You bet she does. Aggie Poon closes the book on Japan from 55 metres out. And it's one for one. As Aggie Poon takes in a few deep breaths. Let's go. Realises that she can go okay. even longer. A brief okay. conversation with the yeah. referee, uh, four, running the <laughs> running the clock down for as long as she can. Aggie Poon. Well, when you got to take the kick, that's fair enough, I suppose. Poon back Yan scores a try, converts it. Look at this, basically from a standing start. And the guy were express once it started out. 
The rest of them just sat up and let her go. Impressive side on the football pitch. Aggie Poon. Japan now. Looking for space. Oh, handling error there. It's unusual to see. Turnover. Quang. Colin. Tushvold. Poon. Get it out wide. Chan now into contact. Eventually gone to ground. Poon is there again. Melody Lee takes two of them, including Nakamura. But still the ball comes back. Aggie Poon, they shifted well. Sol Yan Kwong. Ball bounces back. Poon almost broken free again. Aggie Poon. As Melody Lee manages to keep the ball moving and Chan gets on the action. Kwong again, Melody Lee. They're doing a lot of work, these three or four players. Natasha Olsen Thorne arrives in a nick of time. She tries to get away from Nakamura. The great Nakamura comes back at her and brings her down. Poon goes wide out towards the far stand. Lee, Lee takes on two or three. And now it's Aggie Poon up to the 22. Poon spreads it from halfback. Chan. Ball's there, it's out, it's clear. Japan swoop on it. Now they start their own attack. Hong Kong might have just run out of gas there. And this could be, and May looks like Tsutsumi. It is number seven. Honaka Tsutsumi try. 12-7. And therein lies the lesson when you're playing against Japan. My word, Hong Kong made so much play in that period, and yet Susumi just sailed on by in the end. Poor Hong Kong. I think if they go and check the engine level at the moment, or the fuel level at the moment, it will be a long way down. They had to spend a lot of energy in that period. 12-7, the score. Okay, the restart. Coming back to Hong Kong. Not the 10. Half-time, who to blows. Referee away, takes notice of that. Poon. From square one, come to Olsen Thorne, who plays the cut. Chang. Now Poon. Poon dances in front of the tackle line. Aggie Poon seals the ball off. There's Olsen Thorne gets it wide now. Ching Chan. Aggie Poon again into the action. Poon is there to cover off the ball. But it is a penalty. Tershford looks for Olsen Thorne. Olsen Thorne hard at the Japanese line. Changes angles. Comes back. Rolls free. Tershford over the ball. Now Poon. There's Chan. Straightens up. No space on the outside by the look of it. Still Hong Kong come at Japan. Still they're going at Japan. Ball goes wide. It's a try to Aggie Poon. And that's a great way to end the half for Ooh. Hong Kong. What a slugfest. Oh, word, they're making all the play at the moment. And the face might be a picture of discomfort. But the spirits will be high amongst the Hong Kong side. 12 all against Japan as they hit the halftime break. But by gee, Hong Kong have been made to work very, very hard as Aggie Poon can't convert her own try. That's the second try 
for the Guy Wu Express in this game. And they go to the break, even Stevens. Look at this, the finishing part. Well, you've got to tip your hat to the way that Hong Kong have come out in this game. It's a big game in the second bracket of the women's matches here today on day one. It's absolutely imperative that they do not get blown out the back door by Japan and Hong Kong while well, they've done anything but they've stuck in and fought for all they're worth. Natasha Olsen Thorne, maybe some big minutes coming from her in the second half of this match. Closing out Japan would be an outstanding result for this Hong Kong side. Japan, they look composed. Nakamura takes another mouthful of water. I know we talk about the class of Nakamura, but it is no joke. She is a wonderful, wonderful rugby player. We've seen her come up with some tremendous plays on behalf of her team. It's some real clutch moments. And you can tell by the close huddle of their Japanese side. They recognise what has to happen here now. They need to go to the memory box and they need to pull out the form card. Because they've got the class, there's no doubt about it. We've seen Japan put away teams left, right and centre without barely raising a sweat. But this afternoon, right here, right now, Hong Kong have really put them in the spotlight and are asking the big questions. This Japanese program, remember, it's been to the Olympics, it's been to the Rugby World Cup of Sevens, it's been on the World Series. There's pretty much nowhere left for this Japanese women's program to go. Hong Kong don't have that record to, at the moment. Look at that scoreline. We'll be sitting up in the 852 on this one. 12 12, Japan and Hong Kong. Japan, both right. One more step, one more. Line out. That's Kwong. Gets it into Poon, who's probably one of the shortest on the pitch. Yichi wins the line out. Hirschfeld. Can't find Olsen Thorne, who came back in on the inside line to help support. Your teammate now they work it wide Lee a distinctive headgear that's an outstanding run by Melody Lee they keep working the short side Poon into the traffic ball back from Chan it's Melody Lee again up and over halfway she must have a massive mode of this girl she just keeps on running now it's Olsen Thorne and the great Japanese defence has generated a turnover. Nakamura paddles it back. But it is Japan through Hirano who have the ball and now they start moving it. Tatiyama takes it into contact. Hirano, the ball comes back. Nakamura. Now they go wide. Japan threatening out wide. Tsutsumi goes on the outside of number 11. Kayan Chong and Chong can't catch her. Despite her efforts, Tsutsumi, well, what a blow for Japan that they have struck upon Hong Kong. That is cruel. Hong Kong making all sorts of play, but in the end, the loose ball turned over to Tsutsumi. And now the conversion to boot. And somehow, Japan find the ability to go seven points clear after the half time break. Ka Yan Chong, oh, she chased for all she was worth, but couldn't quite get there in the end. And Tsutsumi. Takes another try in the series. She 
must be close to being the number one try scorer in the Asia Rugby 7 series for women. Great take by Melody Lee, who's been outstanding for Hong Kong. Now they try and smash it straight up through Jessica Ho, but leave the ball, leave the ball. Nick Roll was the call, I think, coming in from Wei. So it may have been a high tackle. Certainly, whatever it was, it was too high. Jessica Ho making another good tackle. Melody Lee just making a genuine nuisance of herself. Oh, weird. Hong Kong have done well uncovering those two talents. Nakamura lays it off. Great work so far from Japan. Hirano Nakamura weaves around. The ball bounces back inside. But the Vakalolo comes back to it. Now Karogi. Okaruda. Hirano. Out to number six, Tatiyama. Oh, this is a remarkable play. Karogi again. White. The ball is loose. Knock on by White. And it's a knock on by Hong Kong. Uh, time. Stop. Talk about lactic acid build up. From here to blue. The bodies of these players would be absolutely screaming at the moment. Even the Four Japanese. Have had to do an four? astounding amount of work. What number is she? Okay, stop for her. And Hong Kong just have no fear when it comes to putting in the yards. They are just absolutely relentless. Take a look and wait. Time off. Time off. Wait for wait, wait, wait for her. Ching Chan. Here, eh? uh, that looks like it might be the end of the day, possibly the tournament. Let the okay, white close up Magic again. hands of that magnificent Closer. Hong Kong medical team get busy on the athletes. Crouch. Oh, gee, they do a great job at keeping these Set. ladies fit. Ready for selection. Japan. Harano starts ghosting the face of the defence. Picks out a great tackle by number 11. Chong Ka Yan, but still Japan hard on attack. But Ivakalolo takes it to ground. Tatsumi. Nakamura. Harano up to Karogi. Nakamura again turns. Spins, takes it back into traffic. Look how many Hong Kong jerseys are there. Japan now just looks for the space. Ito. Ito running hard at the line. Still with the ball. But the Vakalolo over the top of her. Tsutsumi. They go wider to Nakamura who takes it over the top. For Karogi. Karogi has... Chong on the outside and scores. And Japan push another one over the line. Hong Kong's fade into the distance now. As Riho Karogi scores a very good try for the Japanese women's side. My word. Well, absolutely breathless play by both teams here, to be fair. And it is remarkable. The amount of running and the amount of effort that both of these teams have had to put in. None more so than Hong Kong, but Japan just able to make those finishes. You've just got that little bit of extra firepower that makes all the difference. There they are, 24-12. After being 12 all at half time. And now with just over a minute left to play. Japan again attack. Hong Kong taken down well. By number five, Jung. But the Bakalolo, number 
two. Turns the ball back into Tatayama. Now the Japanese spin it. There's Nakamura. Great work by Harano. Out to Tsutsumi. Tsutsumi, the change up. Has a go around. First fold. Great tackle by the Valley player. And now Hong Kong will have to come off their line. And it's Chong frees the ball up and they go. Hong Kong, Jung taken down just inside the 22. Chong releases. Jessica Ho's pass bounces into the hands of one of her teammates. Now they push it. Ho again into the action. And on the angle it's a call against the Japanese player. And Hong Kong here need to make the decision. They'll make the tap. Jessica Ho stands over it, looking for the running options. And a reminder, this stream's going to stop at the end of the game when we return, though. So please refresh and stay with us. Hong Kong playing out. Olsen Thorne now. Still with the ball in hand. Look at the power of Natasha Olsen Thorne. It's remarkable. Roll away. Cannot roll away. Great play, Hong Kong. Trap him in the back. Ho takes the ball forward. Unfortunately, the hands are just Full time. not as relaxed as they could be. in Hong Kong go down to Japan. But they make Japan have to work quite a bit harder than I think they may have anticipated. Japan 24, Hong Kong.